everyone, welcome back to another video. So if you couldn't tell already, I've literally just woken up. Um, I was planning on getting up super early this morning. I was gonna try and get back into my routine of getting up at half five, going to the gym first thing. Um, but I set my alarm for half five. I woke up and I felt so tired. So I let myself go back to sleep. I thought, you know what, if I need the sleep, that's more important. I can go to the gym later on today. So it's now half seven, I'm awake, I've got myself a little coffee, I've made my bed, and I'm just gonna get ready for the day. Um, I've got loads of little bits I need to get done today. I thought I'd bring you guys along and just film a little daily vlog because it's been a while since I've done that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this little video. We could have a little catch up. Uh... <sighs> So I've just made some breakfast. I'm having some of this mango probiotic yogurt. And then I've also added some actual mango like chopped up on the top. Gonna have this for my brekkie and then I'm gonna finish getting ready. So I'm pretty much ready for the day now. I just need to finish getting dressed before I actually leave the house because all I've got on is like these gym leggings and then a bra, but it's really hot so I can't be asked to put anything else on right now. Done my hair and makeup and stuff and yeah, I'm now going to get on with a few bits that I need to get done this morning. So I've got a load of washing that I need to put away. I've then got washing up that I need to do and I just need to like give the kitchen a little bit of a sort out. So I'm going to get that done now. I don't need a lot this week because I am going away on the weekend and it's currently already Monday so I just need a few bits to get me through to the weekend so I've made a little list on my phone and I'm gonna go over to Tesco I'm gonna drive to Tesco and I'm gonna get myself a few bits for the week so I've got a little shopping list on my phone um, and yeah I'm just gonna go and get a little food shop basically so I will show you guys when I get back I'm not gonna take my camera just because there's not really much point but yeah I'll show you guys what I get when I get home. Guys, I'm back from Tesco. I'm so hot. I should not have put this on. It is boiling outside. Um, and I've just had to carry these huge bags for like a five minute walk from my car because my car isn't parked where I live. So I'm very hot now. But anyway, um, I ended up buying a lot more than I was expecting to buy. I just got sucked in by the club card offers so i've bought a lot more than i was meant to but it's all good it's all fine um i'm just going to show you guys in a random order i think because that's just going to be easier um so we've got some bananas we've got a lemon some derily dunkers club card offer couldn't resist um i picked up these which are really random but again they were on club card offer and i thought i'm going to give them a go they have this range in tesco called functional foods and they have loads of like super food powders and they were so cheap they were literally like two pound fifty or three pound so i thought i'm gonna give them a go i went for the lean green super blend so like a green powder and the vanilla protein um which is plant-based so i'm gonna give those a go and i'll let you guys know what i think um i picked up some corn scotch eggs don't know why i just fancied them got some more oat milk honestly this is so expensive but it is the best one so i just keep buying it um I got some Robinson squash in a new eco pack. I don't usually drink squash, but I like to have it in the cupboard for when I really fancy a glass of squash and I'd run out, so I got that. I got some chicken super noodles just to have as a backup in the cupboard. I got these um, brioche style wraps, which again, were on club card offer. I got some reduced onion. Now hear me out. This is just like a bag of diced onion and it was only 50p and I'm just gonna freeze it. And then when I need onion, I can just use that. So I got that, which I thought was a bargain. Um, some barbecue sauce. I got a little avocado, a red pepper, 
and a mango because I'm loving mango at the moment. It's really, really good. Uh, I've got some cheese and broccoli pasta, again, just for like a backup meal, basically, if I'm feeling lazy. And then what else have we got? We've got some little seaweed snacks because just really enjoy those. I got some Jacob's Red Leicester Cheddar biscuits because they look nice. Some Alpro yogurts, got the mango one and the strawberry raspberry protein yogurts. I love having them for breakfast. Um, I got a courgette. I got some pop chips barbecue. I got a Pad Thai Wagamama sauce, some prawns, tomato ketchup, um, a lychee Rubicon. If you don't know, get to know this is the best drink ever. I got some sweet potatoes. I got some cereal bars, go ahead, apple ones, I really like those. I've got a single carrot for Mimi because she hasn't had carrot in a while and I feel bad, so I've got her a carrot. Um, I picked up some washing pods. I got a thing of bleach for the bathroom. And last but very not least, some toilet roll. So there we go, there's my food shop. It was actually so like good, like the price was so good for how much I got. It was 44.89, which I'm sorry, but that's pretty good for all of this. Like, especially considering I got toilet roll, bleach, washing pods, like, I actually feel like that's not too bad of a price. So yeah, I'm gonna get this all put away um, and then I'll chat to you in a minute. Right, I've stripped off because I'm so hot. I've gone back to just the bra. Um, I am going to make myself an iced coffee, which I haven't done in a little while, um, but I'm gonna do a little iced coffee. I'm gonna use the coffee machine make the coffee part of it um so i need to make a little espresso this coffee machine is like we have such a love-hate relationship um if you guys have been watching for a while you might remember when i got this coffee machine and i was so excited about it and i do love using it and it does make a really good coffee but it is the messiest thing ever so i just feel like i never gravitate towards using it anymore like i just kind of off using it because it's just such a faff um, and it yeah it makes such a mess but every now and then I don't mind doing it so I'm gonna make myself a little one shot espresso and then I'm gonna do a little iced coffee with some honey I've been really enjoying putting honey in my coffee at the moment delicious right what else do i need to do today i've got a lot of things i need to do i've got a little list that i'm slowly t like ticking off um yeah right i need to gather my thoughts and then oh another exciting thing actually that i'm going to be doing today well i want to do i haven't 100 percent decided basically do you guys remember like i think it was probably like six or seven months ago now i got the other side of my nose pierced so i've got a little ring in this side but i went and got the other side of my nose done and i absolutely loved it but it swelled up and I had to take it out. And the other day I actually tried to re-pierce it myself and I could not do it. So I think I'm gonna go into town today and try and find somewhere that will re-pierce it for me. I don't know whether to go back to the original place because they pierced it with something really horrible and big. So I might go to Claire's because I feel like, I think they do nose piercings now and you can get something quite cute put in it. It's just whether they'll pierce over the the scar that I've already got. So I'm gonna head into town later on and see if I can get my nose re-pierced. I finished my coffee and I'm gonna quickly head out and go and see if I can get my nose pierced. Um, so yeah, I've just shoved on a little gray vest top from Zara, still got my workout leggings on and the Converse in hopes that it will make me wanna go for a workout later. Probably won't, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, wish me luck. Let's see if we can go and get a little piercing in my nose. I couldn't get it done. They didn't have anyone in that could pierce it. Um, and they said the next day that they're having a piercer in is on a Wednesday. So it's only two days to wait. It's currently Monday. So I'm gonna go back on my lunch break on Wednesday, I think, and see if I can get it done. They said they should be able to re-pierce back through the hole. So should be fine. I mean, I've just got to wait a bit, which is fine. Um, I just don't want it to be swollen because I'm going away on the weekend and I don't want like a really sore nose but anyway it'll be fine we'll deal with it it is so hot today i literally cannot cope but i'm definitely going to go to the gym later on at some point i think i'll probably go this afternoon um i've got some other bits i need to get done today but i'm really like i'm just not in the mood but then i'm never going to be in the mood to do it i really want to sort through all of my clothes because 
This is the current state. I don't know if you can see that. Basically, all of these drawers are full of clothes and they are so full that I can't actually open and close them anymore. So I need to just have like a big clear out and get rid of loads of my clothes. But the thought of doing it is just not what I want to be doing. But I think I'm going to make myself do it today. Um, because I've been putting it off for too long now. So I'm probably going to do that. I'm going to tackle the clothes. I'm going to put a playlist on on my laptop, listen to some music, get all of the clothes out of all of my drawers and have a big sort out of them. So that is my plan. So this is actually ridiculous. These <laughs> are all of my clothes that were in like four drawers. Um, honestly, what the hell? Look at all of this. So this is basically all of my pajamas, tops, t-shirts, um, like trousers, jogging bottoms, blah, blah, blah. Most of it, I'm not gonna lie, is tops and pajamas as if I need this many clothes. So I am gonna get a bin bag and I'm gonna sort through it all and just make it a little bit less ridiculous really because I probably wear about 10% of this. finished so I've got all of my pajama bottoms I've got my pajama tops I've then got long sleeve tops and t-shirts and then I've got like little vests and camis in there and then this is what I'm throwing away well not throwing away I'm gonna sort it out and send some to, well not send take some to charity um I still don't know how I've got so many clothes left when all of this is going but anyway yeah I've sorted it and I'm gonna go and make some lunch. I made myself some lunch. I made a little cheese and tuna toasty. I really didn't know what I fancied. You know when you're hungry, but you're like, I really don't know what I want. I was gonna have a wrap, but I think I'm gonna have a wrap for dinner tonight because um, I've got some like chicken and halloumi and stuff which I wanna use. finished lunch and then I was just watching some Netflix and I just felt really tired all of a sudden. I get this on my days off like I just get so tired like halfway through the day. Um so yeah I can't lie I've been having a little a little shut eye. Yeah I'm gonna go to the gym. I am gonna have to mix it up though because I went yesterday and I'm really aching from what I did like all my leg leg muscles and bum muscles are really aching so and also my arms so i feel like maybe i might just i might just go for a run on the treadmill i've been trying to get into running again lately it's okay to have a nap if you feel like it you know not going to feel guilty my body obviously needed it so right let's get up be productive also guys you haven't met this teddy yet this is mango um He's my new favourite thing ever. Right, let's get up. It's time to go to the gym. Water, which I need to fill up. My AirPods, my keys. Probably take my inhaler just in case. I always take it with me, like, I always have this panic or like this worry that I'll go to the gym and I won't take my inhaler and then the one time I don't, I will actually need it. So I'm gonna take that with me just in case. Um, and yeah, I will chat to you guys when I get home. I'll let you know what exercises I did. <sighs> I'm back. I'm sweaty. I actually just popped in to go see my friend Amber. So I've like cooled off a little bit, but you guys have seen me half an hour ago. Oh my God. I, oh God. I decided to go for a run on the treadmill, which I never really do. I only have just started getting into doing running at the gym. Um, and yeah, I literally ran on the treadmill for quite a while and just absolutely killed me off. But I feel good now. Um, I didn't want to do much else just because like 
quite achy already today like my arms and stuff are achy so yeah I feel good done a done a little run I've almost drank a whole bottle of water so that's good I actually feel quite hungry now um so I might have a little snack I feel like I might try one of those new superfood powder things that I got I just need to figure out how to actually make them taste nice so it says I can just add it to milk or something so I'm literally just going to do what I would normally do to make a protein shake a little bit of oat milk finish it then let's try some of this so it's vegan vanilla protein powder oh i can't even open it god very difficult to open i mean no wonder it was so cheap you barely get any in the packet you're meant to do two tablespoons per serving so this is literally gonna last no time at all really but go oh I might actually I don't know if this is really weird but I've got some like soya single cream in the fridge that needs using up is it weird if I add cream to a protein shake probably is a bit weird isn't it but we're gonna give it a go anyway maybe a little bit of ice taste like it just tastes like oat milk I've just put this on because I'm actually feeling a bit cold um, after saying that I'm hot all day which is really weird but anyway I'm going to put some washing on because like I said earlier I'm going away this weekend and I need to make sure that I've got all the clothes and stuff that I need so I'm going to do a wash Sorry if you guys can hear the washing machine, but it is time to make dinner. So I'm going to have one of these brioche style wraps. I've got some vegan chicken pieces. I've got some halloumi, avocado, cucumber, and some of this garlic and herb sauce. So I'm going to make a little concoction. I'm honestly starving. That run has made me so hungry. So it's like only just turned five o'clock and I'm going to have dinner. But yeah, I'll show you guys the finished wrap. I just thought I'd show you guys how good this looks before I attempt to wrap it up and probably ruin it. Um, so I've got smashed avocado, cucumber, the, the chicken, halloumi, and then some sauce. There's one bit of halloumi as well that didn't fit. So I'm going to have it on the side. Um, but yeah, this is dinner. So I've had dinner, I've chilled, I've done the washing up and I just thought I'd quickly show you guys something that I received in the post yesterday. Please excuse my hair and my face. I have been lying down for most of the afternoon, so let's not judge. Um, I got contacted by a brand called Commodity and they are a fragrance company and they've basically sent me this exploration kit with all of their different scents in. Um, oh my God, look how aesthetically pleasing that is. And then you basically test them all out. They have one, two, three, four, five, six different scents and then they kind of come in different strengths. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, and then they give you these little like fragrance strips at the bottom so you can test them all out. And yeah, basically they just sent them across to me and said, figure out which one's your favorite. Like we want to send you the kit. So I'm going to do it. How fun is that? I think there's actually like a proper way you're supposed to do it. Like a full on in-depth like quiz that you do. Um, which I will do at some point, but I just thought I'd really quickly try them on here because I want to figure out what my favourite one is. So let's rip off six of these. I should probably write down which one's which, but I might just place them next to them. Four, five, six. Haven't read up into what smells like what yet, so I'm going to go in blind. I'm not going to have any pre kind of idea of what I think I'll like and what I won't. Um, I'm going to go for the middle one because that's like mid strength so the first one is called book also how fun i'm gonna have so many little samples to use right oh that's a very satisfying spray oh my god i love that oh my god what the hell that is so no nice. i feel like this is going to be my favorite it has to be that is like my perfect scent oh my god Smells a bit like wood sage and sea salt from Joe Malone, which I love. Right, I'm going to put that next to it. Okay. Oh my God, I'm so excited for the others now. Right, this one is called Gold. I feel like I'm going to end up getting a bit nose blind. 
<clears throat> oh, oh my God, that's so nice for like a night out. Wow, that is actually so nice. I tend to go for one that smells a little bit more like an aftershave, like a woody kind of scent. Um, and both of those smell amazing, right. Next one is called Velvet. Yeah, that's my least favourite one. That smells, smells very smoky. If you like a smoky kind of fragrance, like smoky and floral, like almost like smoky with like a bit of rose in it. I could be completely wrong. I actually haven't read up, like I said, what any of them actually have in them, but I feel like that's maybe what that one is. Am I right? Let's check. What did I say it's called? Velvet. Yeah, velvet. Vanilla rose clove. Woody amber blue rose with smoke. Yeah, smoky. Oh my god, I actually did get it right. Milk. This is going to be very interesting. What on earth is this going to smell like? Okay. Milk. Oh wow. Oh my god, that's that's like nothing I've ever smelt before. Like a bit vanilla-y. My gosh, I really don't know. I'm going to have to have a look. I honestly don't know how to describe that. Marshmallow. Yeah, it's like vanilla-y. Mahogany wood and tonka bean. Again, it has got that. Yeah, it says it's got smoky but sweet inviting scent. Hmm. Yeah, that is that is like so, nothing I've ever smelled before. It's making my nose go funny because I'm smelling so many fragrances. I like it, but it, again, it's not my favourite. Those, the first two were incredible. Right, paper. They've got such interesting names. Like who came up with this? Right. Paper. I feel like I need to cleanse my nose. Oh. I can't smell that one. I think I've actually gone nose blind. Oh, I see. It's one of these ones that has like the molecules in it so that it smells good on your skin. So no wonder it's not smelling of anything on the paper. Like that literally doesn't smell of anything. You basically put it on your skin and then it changes. So who knows what that's gonna smell like on me. That is so interesting. And then the last one is called Moss. Don't know what I'm thinking for this one either. Maybe like more floral or like, I don't know. Oh yeah, that smells like a Jo Malone fragrance. Like it smells like, yeah, definitely more floral, almost a bit like lime, basil and mandarin, I wanna say. Like a bit zesty. Mm, yeah, if you like floral, you'll definitely like this one. Um, moss. Green scents, oak moss, bergamot, fresh green and earthy. Yeah, nice. Okay, wow, that is, I'm actually blown away. They are all so different, you know, right? The first one has to be my favorite book. That is my favorite. Then gold, I absolutely love that for like a night out. Then, ooh, no, I don't like velvet. I really like milk. I feel like paper could be a favourite because obviously it smells different on everyone, so that one could be. I do really like this one actually, moss, then probably milk, then velvet. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So basically, now I know what they all smell like. There's like a lighter version and then a more intense version. Thank you guys, that was super fun. Um, and I'm gonna actually like fill out the quiz and stuff properly. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to check out Commodity, I'll leave a link down below. This isn't sponsored or anything, they literally just sent it to me. Um, but yeah, check it out if you're interested. And I feel like that is such a good either like gift for someone or buy it for like you and your friends and you can all figure out who has a favorite scent and like you can share them between you um but yeah super exciting right i'm gonna put this away and then i feel like i might actually end this vlog here guys because i feel like i've filmed a lot today and i'm not really going to be doing a lot for the rest of the day i'm literally going to take my makeup off have a shower or potentially a bath um and then i'm just gonna have a chilled night i'm gonna read my book watch a bit of netflix and just get an early night so i hope you guys enjoyed a little vlog i know it's been a while since i filmed and if you have made it to the end thank you so much please leave a 
white heart in the comments if you made it this far sending lots of love um thank you for watching and yeah i'll see you guys soon with another video goodbye